The idea that stuff can produce thoughts inside of your mind is strange. The idea that PMO, masturbation, sexual fantasy, can produce its own novel thought in your mind is strange. We are in control of our thinking, right? You know, we can think however we want. The idea that something external, like a physical thing, can cause thought, particular thoughts in us, is that's a weird idea. I think a lot of this nofap stuff, a lot of the problem is that you use PMO and you think certain, you think certain things about it. And then you get you start slowly over time, you, you get convinced that the porn is doing it to you. You lose track of how you're the one doing it. I think when we start off with anything, we realise that we're doing it. But our culture and the nofap community, they push these ideas that PMO does it does something to you. It can produce thought in you. It's just weird. Like it's it's that's a weird thing, you know? I think because of shame as well that's a big motivator to say oh i'm not in control the pawns are doing it for me you know yeah i can't help it and that's kind of a getaway because that way you don't have to take responsibility for the idea that you're doing it and then when you get convinced that pmo does do it to you you begin to feel out of control even though you are technically still doing it do you see what i mean just the, the idea that like something can produce thought in your own head specifically is that's just weird like the idea that something like a screen can mind control you to think us—that's weird. That's like mind control. That's like something of science fiction, isn't? Is it not? That's just that's some like science fiction kind of like magic. Do you know what I mean? Like in like you know in Harry Potter they like have this mind control spell or whatever. Like that, that's that's like some wizard shit, and yet we think that exists in the real the real world, the normal world. It's quite odd, isn't it? Do you not think that if PMO was mind controlling, then there would be like other, the government would like figure out how to mind control and would like mind control us or something. We can, no one can be mind controlled. They can have propaganda, but propaganda is just putting ideas out there that are convincing and people buy, people like voluntarily buying into it and thinking, thinking, oh, this is right. That's still people doing it. Do you know what I mean? It's not literal mind control. It's not literal like something going into your mind selectively choosing how you think and you being quite literally out of control that's strange no one that isn't possible is it like like, like low-key that's not possible if it were possible don't you think that and hypnotism don't the hypnotism isn't that either i've read about hypnotism the way like hypnosis always requires some sort of like willing participant you can't get mind you cannot get mind controlled i know if you've seen the film get out that's a fantastic film um, they have hypnotism as a form of mind control in that film, and but that that's a fantasy. Like that real hypnotism isn't that. And you can read about hypnotism, and you'll see that it's all about the person voluntarily giving up control, and not giving up control, but like voluntarily believing in what the hypnotist is saying. And therefore, there's the impression that they're under the hypnotist's control when really they are still the one thinking and doing it. You know. It's weird that the idea that something... Could, it's weird. You, that can't happen. That's not possible. How the fuck is it possible for a porn video to go in your mind and force you to think, this is hot? It can't, that can't happen. You've just developed that habit. And habit isn't addiction. Because addiction implies that the porn can do it. The porn can like, make you think certain thoughts. Isn't it more likely that you want to do it? I know that's heresy because in the NoFap community, if you if you're like, oh, I want to do it, that's basically saying that like you feel like your addiction is going to get worse if you say that. I've been there. Like, I think a lot of people get into the routine of saying, I don't want it, I don't find pleasure in it, because they feel as though saying that over and over again will make them not want it or make them not see pleasure in it. That's not true, because your actions belie what you what you say to yourself. Like when your mum nags you, you don't actually listen to her. You only listen to her when she actually convinces you that this is worth doing. And then you're like, oh shit, okay, maybe it is. Do you know what I mean? If you nag to yourself, oh, I, I don't... If you nag to yourself like, oh, it can't control me, it can't control me, I don't want it, I don't want it, but you still do. Is that, you know, you still do want it. I think it's just weird, the idea that something can control you, but we buy into it because it feels that way. But when you sort of zoom out and you, you sit there and you're like, bruv, 
it can't fucking mind control you. Like, it can't do that. That's strange. Nothing can do that. If something could do that, if something could mind control you, we would see, like, mind control in the media and everything. But the, all the media is, all propaganda is, is ideas that you buy into. Like, some people will watch, like, BBC News. I don't know, like, I don't know the news channels. But in the, the news channels in America are quite, like, politically divided. There's, like, Fox News and then there's, like, CNN. So, like, a few people will watch Fox News and the Fox News ideas will resonate with them. They'll think... And by resonate, I don't mean it literally resonates with them like a fucking string. As in, it resonates with them as, as in they see the ideas and they're like... They look at it and they're like, hmm, yeah, I agree with that. Do you see the difference? It's not mind controlling them. They're just watching it and they're like, yeah, I agree with that. I like Fox News. I keep watching Fox News. You know? When Fox News comes up, they're like, oh, yeah, all right. I'm, I'm paying attention because I want to. Same thing with PMO. And, some, and then other people with CNN will be like, they'll watch CNN and they'll be like, hmm, okay, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. And then they'll see Fox News and they'll be like, Fox News? Ah, oh, no, I don't, I don't agree with that. Do you see how they're still in control? It's not propaganda that's literally fucking mind controlling them. It's just that you're given certain ideas and you and you think it through and then you come to certain conclusions. So it's the same with PMO. It's the same with all types of media. The idea that PMO can literally mind control you is absolutely like fucked. Like that, it can't do that. Oh, but it's biological and it's like... But you still need to think... Like if you, as I said, if you watch PMO mindfully, you'll feel nothing. And that's true. You'll feel nothing. If you have no thoughts going through your head and you're literally just watching it and letting the photons hit your eyes and go into your brain, nothing will happen if you don't think if you don't think anything of it. And that's not a little that's not a gimmick to stop PMO, because if you still want PMO, you're, you're gonna not want to be mindful when you're watching it. You've got to want to not watch it in order to not want to. Do you know what I mean? You've got to like actually not want to watch it in order to quite literally just just not want to watch it and that's and your want is that a want is an emotion which is determined by perceived benefits i don't want to get my wire and go like this because it's just fucking pointless i want to get my wire and plug it in when my thing needs charging because that's a perceived benefit i see you know that's a bit off topic but my point is this vid is like don't you think it's fucking weird the idea that something can go in your mind and mind control you. It goes against all intuitions of what we've seen our whole lives. <clears throat> like when someone tells you a story, you've got to listen and, and be like, do I find that plausible? Like you're the one thinking about it. You're the one deciding it all. Do you know what I mean? The only exceptions to this rule are reflex actions, which is like when you touch a hot stove and then you like pull your hand away or something. But that's like a reflex. This is not a reflex. This is you watching something taking in information and then actively thinking is that's not reflex and you know this this is evidenced by the fact that when you watch PMO mindfully nothing happens this is not reflex is it you can be mindful touch a hot stove and still still move your hand away because it's fucking hot it's a choice to get off to PMO it's a choice and this is also evidenced by the fact that there's so many genres that some people you might not like it you know some people like this is, there's so dude there's so many genres out there we both know this there's so many genres out there so, like, that, isn't that evidence that people are choosing what they like? You choose what you like as well. Some, <laughs> do you know what I mean? If you're, in, if you're into, like, fucking, like, I don't know, like, various genres, you've got your go-tos or whatever, or, like, um, and what kind of chick you're into in that moment or whatever. Or maybe you don't want to watch PMO. That's also a choice. You see how choice is at its core here? And choice is not influenced by... It's not... The ideas are given to us, but we're still weighing it up. We're still, we're still like weighing up whether it's worth it or not. Sometimes it's not worth it. And then you can get to a point where it's like all the time it's not worth it. That's this process. That's this TFM process is getting to a point, thinking things through and getting to a point where you're like, oh, I quite literally don't want to watch this. I would actually, I would be much happier and better off. And I, you know, I, I want, I want to not do this all the time because I, I want to do that. I'm not like putting myself through it. I'm not feeling pressured about it. I'm not doing it begrudgingly. I'm not like, oh, day 20, no fab. No, it's like, I want to I wanna just not do this anymore, you know? It's making a decision, like a life decision, like a life choice. And that choice is based on, like, benefits that we see. How much benefit is there me stopping it? How much benefit is me carrying on with it? That's a choice. It's weighing shit up in your head mentally. The problem is when you take on myths about the inflated value of porn, the value of porn is up here. Because inflated value of porn is so high, it's it, 
feels as if there's no choice because the decision is so obvious to just PMO your mind out because your inflated value is fucking up here. When you realise that it is a choice, you get to a point where you, where you realise, okay, okay, it's a choice, but the inflated value is so high. When you realise that, you're like, oh, okay, and now you can finally work on devaluing it, not by delusion, but by actually putting PMO in its rightful place, by debunking myths, not by deluding yourself and brainwashing yourself into thinking that it's low. That's not how it works. You're quite literally devaluing it and putting PMO in its, in its rightful place, which is physical um, effects of MO and the perceived arousal from the PMO, right? Again, perceived. So when you realize, okay, that isn't that worth it anymore, that, that arousal is not giving me emotional relief. It's not giving me like objective pleasure. It's always gonna be pleasurable. It's not giving me like, um, doesn't make me more manly. That's all me, that's my active placebo. Um, it doesn't make me like, you might have various reasons. I can't go through all of them. People have weird reasons for watching PMO. It doesn't educate you, you know, it doesn't make you a better lover. When you undo all of these and you start to realize, okay, it's quite, you get it down to the bare bones, then now you can you look at the benefits of not doing it, and then you're like, oh shit, the benefits of not doing it are actually better. It's actually better. And then you're like, fuck man, I want to do not porn. And then you're like, shit, I want to do that. Do you see what I'm, you see what I'm getting at? You see how this works? I, I think this video has actually been insightful. I can tell because as I'm talking about it, it's. I just feel like this makes sense. What do you think? Let me know. Comments. Let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, that's it. Like this vid. Spread it around. Because this, this is really like novel information. Not not, people, not many people know about this. Um, read the Freedom Model link in the description. That's what you, people should be spreading as well. Like spread TFM. Spread these videos. Spread TFM. Like let's help people out. Let's help other boys out. You know, we're all in this together. We all have the same problem. We can all empathize with each other. We can all think, okay, you know, I had this problem. I don't have this problem anymore. Maybe, or maybe you have less of the problem. And you, look, you can look at your fellow man. And, you know, you can think, okay, he's got this problem. I could help this guy solve this problem so quick by recommending him a book and just telling him how it's helped me. And then he helps himself and then he spreads it around. And we're doing like a good thing for the world and for people. And it's, and this is like positive, you know? Okay, that's it. Uh, yeah, like the vid for the algo. And uh, yeah, that's it.